After years of making movies, Russell Long is now leaving Mad Men Movie Studios. This is the groundbreaking story of how it all started and what led to the ultimate betrayal of friendship and loyalty. You will see why Mad Men Movie Studios has fallen apart over the years. Russell Long's cocaine addiction has been a problem for many years and is now being discussed. Today on Mad True Hollywood Stories, we unveil the real story of Russell Long. What is Mad Men Movie Studios about? We're about uh, originality. It's a group of friends who likes to make videos and would like to get paid for them. Hopefully. Working, you know, working the camera. That's the art. And that's what I do with Mad Men. You know, I go ahead, I get the establishing shots, and I go ahead and try to figure out what angle fits, fits Russell, fits the characters, what actually adds and builds onto the movie. Yeah. Uh... So I met Omar, uh, ninth grade homeroom, and uh, a few years later I met Miles Massey. We only have certain equipment that we can only go so far. But with the equipment we've got, and Miles normally make it more than half of it, he makes it all. We go ahead, he does a really good job with that. And so we go ahead and use what we have, and surprisingly, they come out really good with those shots. You know, I did because I love it. You know, I love what I do. I. Uh, you know, filming's tough. Filming's tough and uh, it can get to you sometimes. We got a little Kodak camera, pocket camera, and recorded um, the, the RC car chase. Really old video, you probably won't even be able to find it. And he came up to me one day uh, with a, a movie deal to shoot Fifth Street. I uh, wrote out a mini script for Fifth Street, which was a shoot 'em up. That's when we got Russell on board. We said, hey, you wanna help us with this video? Got a few more friends, but Russell proved to be the standout actor. And I was a little reluctant, but I I went ahead and accepted it, not knowing, you know, what it was about. I had to die about three or four times in one movie. And, you know, I didn't like that, but I went through it. Ah, oh, the doorknob. Hmm. Me, Miles Massey, we were we were doing a fake fighting scene and I remember I hit him on a head and broke this stick. And go. And he pushed me into a doorknob and my ribs went straight into the doorknob. Oh. And that hurt. You know, that hurt a lot. He was a really cool guy before cocaine came in. Uh, he was really cooperative. Until we decided to make multiple endings, and... Yeah, that was a tough part of my life. Um, we are filming one day. Uh, I needed a kick, you know. In the second ending, we decided we were going to have him snort cocaine. Which we said, hey, we could just use flour, it's fake. No one's going to notice. No. He demanded that we buy the real thing. Ooh, daddy needs some cocaine. But then cocaine came in, you know, it was pretty ridiculous. It got to a point where he just got so addicted, he just started selling tripods. Like, one day I needed a tripod for the camera, and I was like, where'd this go? And he's just like, oh, dude, I sold it. I need to keep my habits up. He would always scream in our faces. Ah! Ah! Just, just run around randomly. Try to shoot the bad guy. Okay. We're going to start running. Run. We're going to run that, that way. way. Okay. And then. Ah! No! Ah! Not yet! Not yet! What was it like working with Russell Long? Horrible. No, it, was, it was the worst thing ever. Like, I wanted to get him standing there. He's like, no, 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 no. I want to stay here. But he doesn't get it. He doesn't fit in the frame. You know, like, when you want him there, he needs to be there. With hitting him in the camera, like, no, I want a face shot, you know? No, no, the face shot doesn't add the emotion to it. Action. Action? Uh, hey, can we get a face shot in there? Um, no. No, no bring the camera over my face, it'll look good. No, look, you no. have to stand there for this scene to work. Hang there. Do a face shot! No! So, camera one's gonna be over there. I'm gonna start shooting. Okay. Then, we'll cut to the angle cut. over there. Okay. What is wrong with him? Come on, dude, really? 
我灭了，傻，我灭了。<laughs> Am I gonna miss him? Yeah, right. Am I gonna miss him? Is that a question? He, he can go off. But, you know, I, I'm done. I don't need to deal with him. I'm losing our equipment. Him complaining about these angles and whatnot, how they work. Is the camera quality good? His dealer showed up to one of the shoots and almost shot us. I was nervous. Uh, I didn't know what quite to do. I was hopped on cocaine. I threw my fake gun in the air and I went on the floor and started screaming. <laughs> yeah, right, am I gonna mess up? It's, it's just, no, 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 I'm not. After Fifth Street, everything went downhill. Sure, the movies got better, but what went on behind the scenes? <laughs> He's going in the Navy, right? Yeah. Well, any luck, you'll fall off the boat and drown. Hey, guys. Yo. Uh, just to let you know, that whole documentary was completely a joke. We are yep. actually going to miss Russell. He's shipping out this Thursday, June 20th. So, he'll still be in videos periodically, just not in every one like he usually is. Yeah. Won't be our usual standard actor, but when he right. comes back and he has those breaks, yeah, well, he's coming back in the movie. At least, uh, he's at least two. Be working. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to miss you, Russ. Miss you too, Miles and, and Omar. Oh. Be expecting, we will have videos every Tuesday unless we announce otherwise and yep. so be sure to subscribe for that and then also we have the Twitter account and Facebook stuff links would be down there description and somewhere on screen somewhere up in this regional area will be our subscription you have a bug in your hair <laughs> there is? yes yeah, is it gone? I think so you see it just flew see I wasn't joking shit there was there was a bug